The Hollywood Reporter reports that Paramount Pictures has picked up the movie rights to Dream Jumper, a graphic novel co-written by Greg Gun Grunberg and award-winning cartoonist Lucas Turnblum, with Gun Grunberg's best friend J.J. Abrams stepping in to produce. Sources on the project say that movie adaptation may be live action or animated, though at this time no decision has been made. Abrams will produce through his Bad Robot production company, though no writer has been attached as of this time. Dream Jumper is about a boy named Ben who can jump into other people's dreams in order to help them defeat their nightmares. No release date has been scheduled. Clark, buy or sell a Dream Jumper movie with J.J. Abrams producing. Sure, I buy it. Why not? It sounds very on... It sounds so awful, but it sounds on brand for J.J. Abrams. It's kind of right up his alley. He seems to be the guy with the Midas touch when it comes to producing and creating franchises or relaunching franchises. And it sounds like a sweet movie. Plus, I love the idea of getting into nightmares, and especially with kids. I'm assuming that this is going to be a movie aimed at children or maybe early preteens. Right. So, you know, that sounds great. And I can't wait to see these creatures. So I'll buy, or I'm, I give it a thumbs up. I forget oh. what we're doing yeah. We're by ourselves. We're by ourselves. Um, so I give it five shots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> glug, glug, glug. Uh, I'll buy it as long as he doesn't attach the Cloverfield name to it. Oh, come so, on. Yeah. Cloverfield jumper. He's, yes. he's going to yes. slap Cloverfield on everything. I'll, I'll buy it. I, I like the idea. I like how uh, Greg Grunberg got this idea. It was from his son. His son had you know, had mentioned like, oh, I had a dream that I went into my friend's nightmares and helped them fight, fight off so-and-so. So I think it's a, that's a nice, cute story. It is definitely aimed at kids. If you look at the artwork for the graphic novel, it just looks like that. Um, I don't know if J.J. will actually direct it, though. It just seems not, I don't know, a little more kiddish than what he's used to doing. So he, he's helping out his buddy producing it, and it, it, it wouldn't have gotten made, I don't think, without his help. Uh, Schnepp? I buy it. I mean, I love the idea. I think it's a great idea that that it came from his son. I don't. I, I didn't. I didn't remember here reading that, but I love the idea of like a kid being able to jump into one of his friend's dreams to help, you know, fight monsters or whatever. You know, you don't want to call it Nightmare Jumper. That might be too rough. <laughs> so Dream Jumper is a great title, and it's cool that JJ's like saw that and saw the potential in that. It was, hey, I think I could turn that into a cool movie. So I buy it. I suggest for a director on this one because it just hit me. Gil Keenan, who did Monster oh, yeah. House and did the Poltergeist remake, which, I, you know, Poltergeist remake, not the best thing in the world, but the stuff with the kid, the stuff with the nightmares, you know, he's proven that he can handle this type of stuff in animation and Definitely. in live action. Like that. that would be incredible. Plus, you know, Monster House kind of had, well, it had Steven Spielberg involved. Didn't he produce it, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, I don't know. He produces a lot of stuff. Well, that's true. <laughs> so I know I'm making, like, a weird connection here, but, you know, I could absolutely see someone with J.J. Abrams' sensibilities working alongside someone with Gil Keenan's sensibilities and making something really cool. So Hollywood, Gil Keenan, let's have him do this, please. Thank you. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.